How Paystack became a $200 million company and got acquired by Stripe. What is Paystack? And why are we talking about it? Well, let's hear from the founder himself. My name is Shola Akinade, co-founder and CEO of Paystack. Um, at Paystack, we help businesses accept payments online. So we do all the hard work so you can accept payments from your customers. Hello. Welcome to Instacom TV. If you are new here, welcome. On this channel, we share videos on entrepreneurship, career development, startups, and many helpful content for you to be motivated and grow personally and professionally. If you are not subscribed yet, kindly do us the favor and subscribe. We share amazing videos every day. Turn on the notification bell to never miss any of our videos. This is Shola Akinlady the co-founder and CEO of Paystack. Shola Akinlady grew up in Lagos State, Nigeria, where he earned his SSCE certificate. He then enrolled at Babcock University of Nigeria, where he earned a bachelor's degree in computer science in 2006. As with most startup and co-founder stories, it was Babcock University that Shola made friends with a course made Ezra at a software exhibition. In their first year at the university, Ezra turned out to be a computer prodigy just like Shola himself. Ezra Ulubi has a similar educational background to Shola. Born in Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria, his brilliance was evident from childhood, which led him to win a computer programming award. While at university just like most computer geniuses Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates, after completing his secondary school education, Ezra was admitted to Babcock University, where he graduated in 2006 with a first degree in computer science. They kept in touch after completing school and building projects together. Shola went on to found Precurio, which was kind of an open source version of Dropbox, which he managed for five years. Within that same period, he worked as a database manager for Heineken, a Nigerian brewing company. From November 2007 to April 2009, he was also doing freelancing jobs which he prefers to call consulting and building software for some banks and other companies and startups. It was during his consulting days that he came across a challenge. According to Shola, he has always had difficulty making online payments and transactions. 2010 to 2015 was kind of the internet boom for Africa, particularly Nigeria. Startups were being launched every now and then, and they all needed to collect payment online. At the time, Interswitch was the only alternative, but it required a lengthy and complicated process to collect payment. The biggest revelation came to him. Sometime in 2015, I figured out that I could charge a card from my computer, that it was cool. When he figured out he could actually charge cards from his computer for online transaction, he was like, wow, this revelation will come to change the entire African fintech and startup ecosystem. Online transactions for businesses in Africa will never be the same. To tell you how significant, what Shola did after this big revelation, at the time, the entire Nigerian online transactions was a mere $35 million. Couple of years later, after Paystack launched, Paystack alone was processing over a $100 million a year. This might not seem a big deal right now, because the market has grown, and billions of dollars of transactions are being made online yearly. But in 2015, this was a game changer. Shola set out to build the Stripe of Africa, so I guess we shouldn't be surprised they got acquired by Stripe. He started pitching his idea to the startups he was building projects for, and they all bought into the idea and started spreading it among the startup community in Nigeria, even though he hadn't fully figured out how to settle payments. But startups were willing to use his service to collect payment, and his waitlist kept growing. He started thinking, this could actually be a company. He spent over one year building what will become Paystack, entered the picture Y Combinator, the Silicon Valley startup accelerator that has funded startups like Stripe, Instacart, Coinbase, Flutterwave and more. Paystack was the first Nigerian startup to be accepted into the accelerator program. He failed to make it into Y Combinator on his first trial. 
But in the feedback, Y Combinator asked him to find a co-founder. This where his good friend Ezra, the software genius came into the picture again. He called Ezra who had worked with Jobberman and Delivery Science to join him on this exciting project he was building. Ever the Explorer, Ezra agreed to become a co-founder. The application for the next batch of Y Combinator program was up, and Shola received an email to reapply. Here is Shola on an interview with Tech Cabal talking about that experience. Invited and we're like, okay, you know what? Come for an interview. So Ezra and I, we went to San Francisco. Um, in fact, I remember how that story because Paystack, to show how small Paystack was, when we got, we were going to get on the KLM flight and Giga Leia Ahmad, um, it was trying to integrate Paystack or something. So I just did something like I pushed, we pushed, I pushed the code. I didn't know there was a bug there. We got on the flight. <laughs> and then by the time we landed, of course, Paystack wasn't working. Paystack wasn't working again. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it was fine. <laughs> we just, <laughs> we just fixed it very quickly. That was the final validation that boosted his confidence. The interview went well, and they were accepted into Y Combinator winter batch of 2016. Even though a lot of local investors were already banging on Paystack's door to invest, but Y Combinator became the first investor in Paystack with $150,000 safe investment for 7% percent of the company. With money in the bank, it was now time to build the Stripe of Africa, and Paystack was now officially registered, with Shola and Ezra as the co-founder of the future multi-million dollar startup. Fun fact, Paystack was processing just $250 monthly. Surprised? Don't be, because big things start small. Before we continue, let me introduce Instacum the startup behind this YouTube channel. Instacum is a startup that helps students find and rent accommodation easily. With our website instacum.com, you can rent a room as a student in Ghana in just five minutes. You can follow us on all social media platforms at Instacum to find out more. If you are enjoying the story so far, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also share with your friends to help up grow this channel. Leave a comment on which startup you will want us to cover next. Fundraising After Y Combinator, Paystack raised $1.3 million in seed funding with Tencent, the owner of WeChat, China's biggest social media platform, which is like a hybrid of WhatsApp, Facebook, Amazon and more, Comcast Ventures, and Singularity Investments were among the investors in this round of funding. With this round of funding, Paystack was now ready to solve the problem of payment in Africa. Their mission was, and is still simple, help merchants accept payments from their customers. They worked tirelessly to make the user experience the best, Shola even said, when he visited Stripe's office at the time and compared their dashboard to that of Stripe, Paystack had a better dashboard than Stripe. Paystack wanted to solve three problems. The first is to make it as simple as possible for businesses to get started. So, if you wanted to accept payments today, you would use Paystack. It was a huge problem before Paystack you had to know someone in a big company and do a lot of paperwork. We wanted to get that resolved as soon as possible, says Paystack. The second major challenge was assisting businesses in receiving payment. So, at Paystack, we want to make sure that if someone wants to pay you, they can do so easily. We're so confident right now that if a customer's card doesn't work on Paystack, it'll never work anywhere else. This was a big statement, but it was true. The third big problem is providing merchants with additional tools such as data, performance, and reconciliation. We will continue to innovate in this area and provide merchants with incentives to accept digital payments, says Paystack. They did these three things and did it better than anyone at the time. Paystack's growth was now inevitable, and it went on to achieve milestone after milestone. Let's talk about Paystack fundraising and company numbers. They got $50,000 non-equity funding from Google Launchpad, According to Crunchbase, an intelligent insight company, 
Paystack has raised a total of $10.4 million in funding over five rounds. Their latest funding was raised on August 28, 2018, from a Series A round. On the company's blog, this is what Shola the founder said. Hi everyone, this is Shola, Paystack CEO, with an exciting community update August 28. We announced that Paystack has raised $8 million in Series A funding. The round was led by payments leader Stripe and was joined by global payments company Visa, with follow-on investment from Tencent and Y Combinator. We're also excited to welcome on board angel investors Tom Stafford, managing partner at DST Global, Benga Oyubode, founding partner of Aluko and Oyoyabodi and board member of MTN Nigeria, and Dale Mathias, co-founder, Innovation Partners Africa. This brings the total investment we've raised to date to a little over $10 million. At the time of Stripe acquisition of Paystack, it had approximately 60,000 customers, which includes small businesses, larger corporates, fintechs, educational institutions, and online betting companies, and the companies intend for it to continue operating independently. It was over 150 employees, and it is present in Nigeria, Ghana and South Africa. The acquisition. The terms of the deal were not disclosed, but sources confirmed that it is worth more than $200 million. This is the largest startup acquisition to date in Nigeria, as well as Stripe's largest acquisition to date anywhere. The record acquisition in Africa so far comes from Send Wave based in Kenya which was acquired by World Remit for $500 million. For those of you who don't know what Stripe is, Stripe is an American technology company building economic infrastructure for the internet. It was co-founded by the Collison brothers, Patrick, CEO, and John, President. In January 2010, Stripe launched in private beta, and its public beta was launched in September 2011. Businesses of every size from new startups to public companies use our software to accept payments and manage their businesses online, Stripe says on its website. After the acquisition, Paystack relaunched its e-commerce store for sole entrepreneurs and small businesses, updated a feature for subscription-based businesses to better track customer cards that are about to expire, and has become a payment option for vendors using WooCommerce, a WordPress plugin. Paystack became the first payment gateway in Africa's largest economy to become an Apple Pay partner. Businesses that use Paystack will now be able to accept payments from 380 million Apple Pay users in approximately 60 countries. It is the most notable product shipped in 2020 by the Nigerian fintech startup. These are significant, although still minor product updates and additions to the company's already impressive product portfolio. However, Paystack's first year under Stripe's ownership has been defined by its expansion to South Africa, Africa's most mature card payment market, whose e-commerce is expected to grow by 66% by 2020, according to a MasterCard-supported study. This is the kind of big-picture move that will propel Paystack to become a true pan-African payments company, living out its founding philosophy as Stripe for Africa, outside of mobile money, digital banking, and blockchain-based transactions. It centers the other major competitive arena for digital financial services in Africa. After the acquisition, this is what Shola had to say when Stripe approached us, Paystack was not for sale. It's all about the mission for us. I'm motivated by the mission of accelerating payments on the continent, and I'm confident that Stripe will assist us in getting there faster. It's a very natural motion. Paystack acquisition raised a lot of eyebrows and brought a lot of attention to the African startup ecosystem. Even though some argue that Paystack sold too early and should have held on for a while, these arguments came following Paystack's major competitor. Letter Wave achieving a unicorn status. Unicorn is a startup that is valued over $1 billion. But nevertheless, Paystack acquisition brought in a lot of positive vibes to the startup ecosystems. Up until then, 
There wasn't any of such large acquisition out of African startups, so people couldn't actually justify the valuations of African startups. The acquisition brought about a lot of winners. I mean a lot of investors and employees walked away with a lot of money. The co-founders of Paystack, Shola Akinlady, CEO, and Ezra Alubi, CTO, are undoubtedly the biggest winners. However, the size of their win is determined by the amount of equity they've given to their 40 investors. This is what some experts has to say about the acquisition. This acquisition deal will also make other high net worth individuals, who have stayed away from investing startups, have FOMO fear of missing out. Rebecca Anonchong, a founding member of African Business Angel Network, said, they will want to be a part of the next success story. Paystack's financial statements are not accessible because it is a private company. As a result, determining how much each investor put into Paystack and their ROI is difficult. However, the size of checks and equity that some investors cut and take can be used to draw conclusions. In addition to Y Combinator, other early investors in Paystack include Dr. Oler Brown, Director at Green Tree Investment, Kola Aina, founding partner at Ventures Platform Fund, invests between $20K and $200K, Maya Horgan Famodu, partner at Ingressive Capital, used to invest between $50K and $100K, but now invests between $200K and $400K for 10% equity, Alyamid Soyombo, Managing Director at Leadpath invests between $25K and $100K. Leonard Stiegler, founder of LS, Comcast Ventures. Other investors in Paystack, who likely joined in the Series A, include Jason Joku, CEO of Oroko TV and partner at Spark. Boon Woya, board member at Ventures Platform. Lauren Cochran, managing director at Blue Haven Initiative. Sudeep Ramnani, CEO at Sporty Internet Group. Tom Stafford, managing partner at DST Global. Benga Oyabode, founding partner at Aluko and Oyabode. Nedu Ada, principal at Apax Partners. Lexi Novitsk. Managing Partner at Acuity Venture Partners Dale Mathias, Co-Founder at Innovation Partners Africa Bastian Goddard, Co-Founder at Oroko TV Whale a and &E Investor We can draw conclusion to call Paystack an African success story In as much as we might not be able to call Paystack an African startup now but it is still one of the best startups on the continent Paystack has won several awards so has the co-founders won individual awards. If we look at where African payment was before Paystack came along, we can only say Paystack has brought about significant change and will remain in the history books of this continent. As far as startups and tech is concerned, the co-founders are still running the daily operations of the company. However, the now millionaire founders have also ventured into other things. Shola Akinlady and Maywa Akigbenla co founded Klein Devert, a software development firm. Earlier this year, Shola Akinlady has established a football club, Sporting Lagos Football Club, as part of a community project that he believes will nurture the next generation of Nigerian sporting talent. Both Ezra and Shola has also been involved in funding some African startups. This is the story of a young determined African entrepreneur Shola Akinlady and his friend, who dreamt of building the Stripe of Africa, and truly ended up selling his startup to Stripe for a record $200 million. This is a dream come true and an inspiration for many Africans out there. It is possible to build a global and successful company from Africa and achieve the African dream. Don't give up, keep trying. You could be building your own paystack. This is the paystack success story. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and also leave a comment if you have any question or suggestions and most importantly kindly subscribe if you are not subscribed yet share with your friends who might find this video helpful don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will not miss any of our videos